Morning. Morning. Um, so we didn't get a chance to do a close to our last vlog because um, we were hanging. We were a bit tired, weren't um, we? It took us an hour and a half. We got off of Splash Mountain last yeah. night at 10. 10 o'clock. And we got back here at 20 to 12. Um, because in Magic Kingdom last night they were filming the ABC Christmas special. Yeah. Um, so it was rammed. So when we tried to get out of there, even though we tried to do it before that kind of finished, those other people had the same idea. Mm -hmm. uh, we it was got veteran here. Day, Veterans Day. Veterans Day as well. So, a lot um, of locals. So yeah, it was absolutely ages we queued. The monorail queue was ridiculous. So we thought, oh, the ferry boat didn't look too bad. We'll go and join that. Uh, About an hour. Yeah, literally. Just under an hour queuing. For um, so yeah, so we completely forgot. Um, but oh well, it's a new day. Yes. And we are off to Epcot this morning for the final day of Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, which I've never been. So yeah. it's our first time. So we're gonna grab that um, and eat our way around. Um, so it should be pretty fun. Can't wait. <laughs> To Epcot, we've arrived. Again, very, very busy, but worth it. Yeah, so we're having. It's going to be quite a chilled day today. We're not necessarily doing loads from a rides point of view here at Epcot. We're mainly here for food and wine, and Joe is now playing with the fountains. That one's got loads coming out. Joe's time one there. There's more spray. Oh, he's a nightmare. Go on, put your head in it. Oh, it's getting wet. Yeah, cool you down. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, so we're uh, heading over to Broad Showcase. Partial for a uh, beverage, and we just seen some nice ciders. That light lab. It light lab, yeah. So we might have to give them a go. Oh, 
It's like tonic, but really bad. Vile. The aftertaste. It's almost like I need a normal drink. Sorry, yeah, I need to smoke my own. Okay. Now you may have to just smoke it. Yeah, if you ever like a bit of paracetamol, yeah. it's like that kind of twang at the end. Like, it starts off okay, and then at the end, it's just like pure sickness. So no, I'm another one who's not a fan of Beverly. Joe loves it. Nah. Not for us. I was just about to drink it. I need to get rid of it before I put it in my mouth again. Vile. So we were at Flavours of Fire. We went for the smoked corned beef and the piggy wings. Joe's got the fork. Shotgun that one. <laughs> Shotgun that one. How is it? It's good. So the piggy wings were good. Not as spicy as they thought they'd be. The coastal sauce. <clears throat> coastal is quite spicy. Yeah, there's a kick to the coastal. <clears throat> the actual piggy wings, really, really good. It's just all stuck in my teeth now. We've now got the smoked corned beef, um, which comes with just like, like sort of crisps. Yeah, potato chips sort of thing. Um, I'll let Joe tuck in first. Again. Mm. It is quite like a cheesy sauce. It's really nice. It's nice. Okay. Oh, good. That's good. Quite creamy. And I'm not usually a fan of corned beef. This is more like shredded. Yeah. It's not like corned beef you get back home. No. Tin of corned beef. Mm. Yeah, it's really mm. nice. That creamy, cheesy sauce. Talking with my mouth all. Really good. <clears throat> Flavours of fire gets a good thumbs up from me. That smoked corned beef. Amazing. So we're off to Hawaii now. Um, I can't remember what was in Hawaii. Can you remember? I don't know. I know they've got a, like was it a passion fruit cheesecake, so I'm looking forward to that. Joe's filling out the passport, adding a little flavours of fire sticker. I'll show you the passport in a sec. It's pretty cool. You get little stickers that you can put next to the page for the country or station that you've just eaten at. Really cool. So we're at Hawaii, we went for the Spam Hash and the Passion Fruit Cheesecake. Spam. That is good. That is nice. <laughs> that is better than what I thought it would be. I love teriyaki though. I really enjoy teriyaki. Yeah, it's got a teriyaki glaze to it and a spicy mayonnaise. This is the passion fruit cheesecake with macadamia nuts. Let's give this a go. Joe's finishing off. Is I'm done. Nice. <laughs> okay, my turn. No, it's all mine. That is amazing. We've only had one dessert so far. <clears throat> and that's going to be a hard one to beat because I love cheesecake. Wow. So far, I'm impressed. Can't complain. And I'm really surprised at the portion size as well. Jay's just letting everything fly away. Doesn't understand the whole old things. Right, yeah. I think we're off to Australia now. Yes. Let's go. G'day. 
So we couldn't film what we had at Australia because as we literally got the food, it started to bucket down. Um, Joe's gone to the toilets now because he needed to wash his hands. It's quite greasy. Um, personally, not a fan. We had the spicy teriyaki shrimp and the it's like a lamb chop. Um, so mint with a mint pesto. Uh, the lamb was okay, um, but the shrimp was just shrimp. So not a massive fan. So least favourite out of the ones I tried. Still good, but not not. Um, doesn't make the top for me. So just waiting for Joe to come back, and then I think we are heading off to. I think we might be heading over to Canada. We'll see what's on the menu. So this was the prawn, grilled sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp, and this was the lamb, the grilled lamb chop. And here's Joe, in his poncho, with clean hands. Yeah. You alright? Done? Yeah, done. I think... Yeah. It's raining, and stopping, and starting, and stopping. It's pretty skies over there, though. Yeah. So we decided to skip Canada. The queue was a little bit too long. And now we're in the UK. So we've got Ireland. Anything take your fancy. So they got sausage and mash and warm chocolate pudding served with an Irish cream liqueur custard. Oh, we're doing it. Sausage and mash it is. Sausage and mash and chocolate dessert. Nice. So, we're at Ireland. I'm excited for this. We got the sausage and mash in a nutshell. I'll just show you. Look at that. Good old bangers and mash. And then we got the chocolate pudding with custard. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's a British classic. That is. Right. Knife and fork for Joe. Yeah. No. It's like a little meal. Yeah. I'm feeling full. I oh, know. Bottomless pit. Ready? I mean, try a bit of mash first, I think. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna go straight in with the sausage. That mash is amazing. That mash is actually amazing. Quite impressed with this one actually. Yeah, I like this. But it is just sausage and mash. Essentially. Um, which, this will be my third time eating sausage and mash. I had sausage and mash at the airport on Friday. I had sausage and mash on the plane. And now I've got sausage and mash here in Epcot. <laughs> Three different sausages. Which one was mine? Chocolate pudding with custard. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Right. It's okay. It's got um something in it. It's really chocolatey. You'll love that. Really, really chocolatey. If you like chocolate, you'll love that. Wow. I'm gonna get a chocolate sugar rush now. <clears throat> it's nice. It's not my babe. No. I think the, um, the cheesecake is bad. Yeah, they're not gonna beat the passion fruit. Morocco, Paris, I'm gonna make out the uh, Eiffel Tower in the background there. I wonder if I zoom in, you'll see it. Oh. There we go. Favourite though. 
No. I'm gonna make a start on the creme brulee. Do you love me a creme brulee? Raspberry, isn't it? It's got a raspberry jam in the middle. <clears throat> Save some gel. Take a bite of that. Wow. That for me. You can have some more. No, it's fine. That for me actually beats the cheesecake. I didn't think anything would. Is it not that was lush? I do love a creme brulee. Now I'm covered in sugar. It's all good. Thumbs up to France. That was a good. Uh, Good selection. We got a few more we're gonna try. We need to head to Brazil. They got a few things on there. They got a fish, a fish dish in um, Brazil that I want to try. With some coconut and lime rice. White fish, shrimp, really good. But no, that was good. The thing is, in France, you can't go wrong with their desserts. Because the French know how to make. French know how to make desserts. Yeah, that was good. The, the braised beef was okay. Not like I said, not my favourite. Um, but no, it was it was okay. But for me, that creme brulee. Yeah, we just say the, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride is being built and you can see it. I'll just turn it around. You can just see it in the background, round about there. But we were saying that a lot of people have been saying how it's kind of obstructing the, the skyline in Epcot. Um, I think they have a good way of hiding that. They do, and I think when it's fully built, I think it will kind of just blend hide in. a little bit more of a blend in. But I don't think it's as bad as what I was expecting. When you look at what else is around, um, there are some really big kind of buildings. Like, look at Test Track, right? Yeah, te like Test Track is a really good example. Oh, Brazil. Red Brazil! So let's have a little look at the menu here in Brazil. Oh. I don't really know how to pronounce it. This is what I want to try. The Macueca. So Brazilian seafood stew featuring scallop shrimp and white fish with a coconut lime sauce and steamed rice. Get in my belly! Let's give it a go. Let's do this. So it's white, yes. white fish, shrimp, scallops, scallops, uh, yeah, and a coconut, and lime, and rice, rice, sauce, and rice. <clears throat> Go on, get it on there. Look at that. Oh my god. Get a bit of fish. Let me try that bite. Give it a go. Good. The nice. Mm. Nice and creamy, but it just tastes like a paella. Oh. Although it's got a bit more of a kick. Spicy or no? A little bit. There's a little there's a kick to it. Mm. That fish is just like melting your mouth. Right there, Joe. This is really good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> What's that? Watch him lick the bowl in a minute. No, I really, really like that. It's quite spicy, though. I think there is a kick to it. Yeah, I'm quite surprised you like because you don't like spice. No. So so. It's not like an instant. Yeah, oh, there's a better. Guardians of the Galaxy. So, yeah, I don't really get what the big deal is. At the end of the day, 
this is Test Track. This is Guardians. So, I'd say this, well, Test Track, people were fine with that now, but that used to be an eyesore. Well, they're saying the Guardians is going to be a bit of an eyesore. It's cool. I like Japan. Like that is amazing. Yeah. Got the Epcot in the middle. The Epcot, Epcot ball. That is cool. When I see that though, it just reminds me of Planet Coaster. Yeah, well, I can't remember what his name. What's his name? Silverette. Silverette, yeah. Struggling, aren't you, Joe? Oh, so full. Yeah, Joe's a little tired. <coughs> he didn't realise it would take so long to walk around World Showcase. You just love false perception. What are you trying to say, Joe? No. The big doors to make it look bigger. No, to make it look small. Yeah, so it's five stories, but they make it the kind of windows bigger. Yeah, <clears throat> which makes it look like it's only three stories. Clever. Yeah. You little architect. So we are pretty much done. Oh wow! Guten Tag from Germany. Yeah, so we're done with food and wine. Can't eat no more. I'm literally gonna pop. Yeah, literally gonna pop. So, our plan now is to head back to the hotel, freshen up, and then head over to Animal Kingdom because we got fast passes starting at four. We get to do flight of passage tonight. So yeah, we'll see you in Animal Kingdom. Bye-bye.